Um, Harry Potter. Ooh, are you excited about it? Well, my youngest son is. I mean, I'm excited for him, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, good, clean fun, right? <laughs> you say it's clean, but there's a raunchy kiss. <laughs> apparently, apparently so, yeah. Apparently. Emma Watson says this is the most anticipated kiss in history, which is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Huge, huge obsession for people. I mean, I took my youngest son, we went to Universal Studios, and you can kind of get, get your head around it when it's like an 11 year old wanting to wear the, you know, Hogwarts cape and the, the, the tie and buying the wand and getting on the ride with all the gear. I mean, it's a bit weird, but you know, you've got <laughs> grown up people. I mean, there's a certain type of person that l goes to theme parks as a grown up on <coughs> their own, I think. It's. it's <laughs> <un> <laughs> In, the, in all the gear, and they're screaming and shouting on the right, because you sit on a bank of, like, four, one extra than this, and, they're, you know, these grown-ups are going, yeah, man, whoa, whoa, let's go, come on, Harry, and it's, and you're looking at these people thinking, where have you, who are, why, I mean, it's just the, the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a real come-down for the actors, though, isn't it, because their, their lives aren't going to be as glamorous, you know, because the special effects in Panto aren't that great. <laughs> <laughs> they're going, Daniel, when you fly, Big Dave's going to pull on the rope. <laughs> And you have to make the whooshing noise yourself. <laughs> OK, it's a big day. <laughs> he's going to spend that 48 million. And in 20 years' time, he's with the Chuckle Brothers and Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe was asked uh, what advice he would give uh, to his younger self. And he said, don't try too hard to be something you're not, which is the essence of acting. <laughs> <laughs> If I could go back and talk to my younger self, I'd say, don't worry about anything. In the future, you invent a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> it is bad news for British industry, cos one of the things you have to credit J.K. Rowling with, she insisted the films be made in this country. So all those films, largely, uh, British crew worked on them. Well, British yeah. production houses. Well, maybe she should write another... another she should string it out a bit. That would be, that would be a well, good no, thing. Well, no, she didn't... You, well, know, we are, you, know, it's not, you, know, you know she didn't write it, don't you? You know that, don't you? Is it a... It's a biography. She met this guy called Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> was working in a coffee shop, but she just basically... She wrote down his life story. Is it really a true...? Yeah, it's a true story, even the bit at the end. Even the bit at the end. The bit he... with the thing with the guy? Yeah, you know how he dies from the eats the peanut? It turns out all along he had a peanut allergy. <laughs> so let's have a look and see whether Harry Potter is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> Best way to mend a broken heart. Kill again. do is you can take your passport, go to the airport, you get on the first flight, you arrive in Leeds, um, <laughs> <laughs> you phone around and go, ha, ah, I'm in Leeds, yeah, dream on, baby. <laughs> you start again. <laughs> if I can make it here, I can make it anywhere. <laughs> Best way to mend a broken heart? Eat cholesterol-lowering foods. No. <laughs> It's a practical survival guide. <laughs> Is it, um, eat trifle with your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask, in all seriousness, have you eaten trifle with your hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is it better than with cutlery? There wasn't any cutlery. It wasn't by choice, John. How is yeah. there trifle and not cutlery? What world do you... <laughs> <laughs> They've got one and I couldn't wait till I got in. <laughs> I got the most of it in. There must be a point when you've kind of had enough and you're just covered in trifle <laughs> and you've got <laughs> half a trifle left. You think, oh, oh, no. <laughs> in the old days, someone to get over a broken heart would join the Foreign Legion to forget. Yes. And mm. I, I, I had to go out with someone once. I wasn't that fussed, so I just became a community support officer. <laughs> <laughs> Forget, Brian. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. You were quite close with the with the going to Leeds oh, thing. Find yourself like gap year, travelling, backpacking. I'll give you that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>